You know, we thought, well, if they can't get them arrested, you know, we can at least mess with them. <laughs> I don't know what to say. We got screwed. <laughs> I lost your money. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us today on our product review and unboxing series. Uh, today, Debbie is with me, my old, from a long time friend. <laughs> Not old. <laughs> long, long time friend from junior high school. And on today we have something a little different than a product review. <laughs> One of the things that, you know, we also look for in Second Act are supplemental income opportunities. You know, as we start retiring and maybe, you know, make a couple hundred dollars a week extra, uh, no, who, who can't? Everybody can use exactly. it. Everybody who, can use yeah, it. Yeah, who, who can't use that? So last week, I get uh, an, an interesting email. It said, mystery shopping opportunity. You know, become a mystery shopper. Who doesn't like to shop? Who doesn't like, exactly. Who doesn't like to shop? Uh, it said, you know, it, it wasn't an overpromise or anything. It was uh, like two to three hundred dollars a week. Right. You know, that's, that's reasonable. So I filled it out, wanted to get more information on it. And sure enough, uh, I got an email back saying, yes, you know, you, you were the perfect candidate. I was the perfect candidate. <laughs> and, um, you know, look for the check. We, we mailed you a check. Make sure when you get it that you deposit it and, and you know, so we can send you your first assignment. So. The check came. Yeah. <laughs> the check came. <laughs> and we, I actually have everything really well documented. So on Monday, last Monday, today's Friday. We get a priority, can you see this? Yeah. yeah. Priority mail uh, envelope, and sure enough, there is a check in here for $28.50. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Thinking, hmm. So, hmm. And then I get a, uh, an, a response or a, a follow-up email asking me to confirm that I did, in fact, receive this check and to deposit it and let, it, let them know when the funds are available so I can get my first uh, shopping assignment. And then I'm thinking, you know, this, this isn't... Sounds a little this, this sounds too a little. good to be true. <laughs> so I called Debbie and filled her in on everything. Now, by then, I have to admit, I had deposited the check. Yeah. I deposited as they uh, uh, instructed... Uh, you know, via phone. So your light bulb hasn't gone off yet. Not, not quite. Right. Not totally. Plus, right. I was a little busy, and yeah. I thought, wow, you know, $2,800 check? Sure, I'll, let's, let's right. see what this is all right. about. Anyway, David said, you know, there's something not quite right here, and I, I mean, I kind of knew, too. So I called the bank. I called my banker. I said, look, I think... Um, you know, I just deposited a check, and I think there's something up here. I, I also Googled then the mystery shopping, and sure enough, right away there were several yeah. hits on that this is a scam. I'm thinking, well, what, why did they, you know... Well, what, yeah, so how does this all work? How does this all work? Right. What is the scam? So, you know, we are going to be linking with lots more detail on this, but basically the scam is they send you a fraudulent check, and they count on people like us who are, who are older, who are um, established. Well, they know your address, so they've probably checked out where you live. Exactly. Assume that you know you're not living paycheck to paycheck, so to speak. Yeah. Well, the the I think the key I think, and and you know, if any of you know more about this, you know, tune. I mean, leave some comments because we have some questions as well. Uh, if you have an established bank account and you deposit a large check, the bank will not put, you know, or they'll give you residual credit, I believe it's right. called. So you don't, it's not held. It's not like if I'm 18 years old, deposit a $3,000. Well, it depends on how much money you're carrying in your account and as that's, well, so. Exactly, so if we have money in the account anyway, we know we have access to those funds right, right away. Uh, and then it takes about three to five days, and that's if it's fast, to get notified from the bank right. that the check, in fact, has bounced. Right. So what these people count on is that they, they'll push you to do this assignment, which the assignment is, and here I'll, I'll give you the details. It says, proceed to nearby pharmacy. <laughs> Purchase any Bayer or goodies aspirin, not costing about $15. I think that's to make it sound legitimate. Right, right. You know, maybe there is some uh, value there, so once you get the headache, when you lose the money, you have something <laughs> to take. <laughs> Um, and they're then, so kind. Yes, I know. They're so <laughs> nice. They leave you with aspirin. And then, um, I, I won't read everything here, but basically is, uh, to, you know, to purchase three Walmart gift cards and to put $1,000 on one, $1,000 on another, and uh, 500 on the third. 
and then the remainder of the money I get to keep because that's that's my three hundred dollars for the week plus the fees for, for the card. Right. Then we're supposed to, uh, and this is what I don't get. And again, if you know, you know, if you can clarify some of this, leave your comments. After the purchase of the cards, open the pack remove the cards from the pack and scratch the label at the back of the cards and then email the picture of the back of the cards after you have scratched them. Well, so now them. what they can do is they can go <laughs> online and use that card as a credit card and buy stuff. Yeah, but why do we have to scratch it? Maybe that's not important. It's to show the numbers. Oh, see, see I, I, I've yeah. never done that. Yeah. Okay, okay, well, never mind. So by now, I've, I've of course, I've caught on. Debbie also encouraged me to file a police report, which which yeah. I did. We had a very nice officer over here, and she, you know, took it down. Said she would uh, it would go into the economic crimes department, but that nothing was going to be done on this. So, you know, we thought, well, if they can't get them arrested, you know, we can at least mess with them. <laughs> and that we did. So that we did. <laughs> So you know, this is this is really I, I think this is very funny and I hope I hope you get as much you know a kick out of it as, as we did here but uh, you know the the this Gregory or what, whatever his name is uh, you know he was really trying to push me to get this done you know and and it, it was urgent urgent hurry, urgent hurry, hurry, you know, yeah. have you have you re have you deposited the money have you have you made the purchase have you made the purchase so then I I said oh. I, I emailed him back. Yep, I sure did. I've got the cards right here. I'm getting everything ready now. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you know, I'll. Um, but I just have a problem. I said my my phone, the the i uh, my camera. camera on the phone isn't working. So I don't know how to get this to you. <laughs> And um, and so he, he he emails me back. He goes, well, you can just maybe you can scan it and email it, you know. And and so I got back to him. I said, well, that's a great idea. Let me let me find somebody who knows how to scan. <laughs> <laughs> so we keep you know delaying this and delaying this. This is over the course of like a day, actually over the course of three days. Anyway, so then then we I said, oh, I have a friend. She figured it out. She knows, she, how, she to knows how to scan. <laughs> So I gave her the cards to scan, and she's going to email it. Don't you? Know, Thanks for your patience. <laughs> the emails back. Goes, oh, because you're afraid you're going to lose your job. Exactly. Yeah. I said I'm so happy for this job, and oh, <laughs> I said, and now that I have this job, I can finally get my camera fixed on my phone. And then it would be much easier to do more assignments with you. And uh, so he's, he's like emailing me back, and and he goes, well. Let me have your friend's number so I can text her and make sure she has the right email. Oh, that's right. And that was after uh, he, I, I told him to expect the email. <laughs> and then, of course, it didn't, the email didn't come. He said, well, I didn't get the email. I said, oh, no. She shoot. promised. Shoot. <laughs> Darn it. She said she sent it. Let me call her. But she's working right now. And, uh, you know, I said, I'll, I'll get later on today when she gets off from work because she's working overtime because she really needs all this money. She wants to be a mystery <laughs> shopper, too. Can we sign her up? <laughs> so, so he, it, oh, he's just like, I can just, you know, just see him. You just, can see the frustration. You can see the frustration and the thing. And um, so then I, I uh, that evening or the next morning or whatever, he emails back, still nothing. I said, oh. I guess, I, you know, I just got a hold of my friend. She did send the email, but the file was too large that was attached. So that's why it didn't go through. But we're fixing it. Don't worry. We'll get it to you. No, again, thanks for your patience. You're so nice. Yeah. <laughs> and then I get the, uh, a, what is going on? Question mark, question mark, question mark. He's this losing is, his patience. He's losing his patience. Uh, what is going on? Question mark, question mark, question mark. And so Debbie helped me come up with this. <laughs> I said, I can't believe it. My friend took the money off the cards. I trusted her. What person would do such a thing? <laughs> I don't know what to say. We got screwed. <laughs> I lost your money. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What are we going to do? <laughs> So it makes feel a little bit better. Anyway. Yeah, we can. Yeah. But you know, I mean, and, it, and it's it's for those you know, we we can laugh about it because not you know nothing happened. We didn't lose any money, but people are losing are thousands, thousands on, on this kind of stuff. And uh, so we wanted to send an extra caution out there, and make you aware of this, because everybody that I mentioned this to had never heard of it. You know, you Google it, and yes, you get the hits on it, and there's some good articles, and we'll link to it. But nobody I talked to. I've had this email come to me. I don't bother opening it up. Mm -hmm. I'm too busy. But 
the bottom line, if it sounds too good to be true, it, check it out. Yeah. It probably is. It is. So hopefully you found this helpful. Debbie, thanks for You're coming welcome. over <laughs> and uh, you know explaining this. If you have questions, leave, leave it in the comments below. And like I said, we'll link to other articles and uh, hopefully that you will not get caught up in anything like this. Anyway, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you soon on another episode of Second Act TV. Bye-bye.